Hi everyone, my name is Yahya and this video will be an introduction to microcontroller world. I'm going to be using the PEC-16F84A and I'm going to create a simple project that's called blinking LED. So here's the circuit diagram I'm using. I'm going to make pin 6 makes it flash. Gets it will become on and off with some delay and will be, will be repeated for indefinite time. So how, how am I supposed to do this? I'm going to split doing the, this process into two phases. The phase one is going to be the is going to be the software part where you're going to write your code in the C language, for example, and compile it compile their code and get to the uh, machine language or hex file and phase two is going to be uploading your hex file into your PIC microcontroller using uh, um, some cool tool called Picket 2 so let's start with phase one phase one requires this pro this program program called micro C pro for PIC and it's a C language based program that will help you writing your code. It's really um, close to C++, almost close to C++. And a C++ background is really re recommended for you. So first type, uh, first, uh, first choose a new project, then next. Then I'm going to call my project blinking lead. I'm going to save it. In the desktop okay here and make project one and here's a tip for you guys each project put it in its own folder so do not so do not mix projects within the same folder it might confuse the compiler or the program I don't know something like that and here device name you can scroll down and choose your pick you have since I'm since since I'm using a 16f 84a so choose it and the device clock basically is a crystal oscillator which is which is the 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 clock you have it's similarly like that it looks like this and this is another picture since I have 20 megahertz crystal oscillator, I'm gonna type here 20. So again, guys, you don't you don't have to type 20 here. It depends on what crystal oscillator you have. And here is a really important thing here: do not use a crystal oscillator exceed 20. So do not use it. For example, 24, especially for the PIC 16 F84A. And how to know that? In each data sheet of microcontroller. You can read and about device clock or crystal oscillator and I've read about this one it says the maximum crystal oscillator it can take is 20 megahertz so 20 megahertz is fine and below it is okay above it it might it work but it might damage your microcontroller also so let's go on and this void main is generated automatically for you and okay now we want to get an output from port B so I'm gonna split this thing into two steps step one is to use a built-in register called TRIS TRIS is going to determine the port whether it's input or output whether the port is going to get an input from some sensor or, or something or etc something else or it's going to output in our case we want it to output so simply write tres since we're dealing with b tres b equal zero this will make all ports of uh of all ports of port b going to be all outputs simply enough now we need a while loop or indefinite loop you can go you can use the go to statement i'm going to use the while loop while one it's an indefinite loop for for sure okay 
within the indefinite within the indefinite loop I'm going to assign a value to the port which is port B3 how am I supposed to uh, get a, a 5 volt here and makes the LED turn on simply type port B since it's, we're doing with port B equal 0 B and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 since this uh, microcontroller is 8 bit um, 8 bit microcontroller so here since we want the B3 to be an output here's the B0 here's the B0 here's the B1 here's the B1 and B2 and B3 make B3 as 1 makes it high to light up then delay your program for some time I'm going to delay it it's delayed in millisecond I'm going to delay it for 500 which is equivalent to half a second then I'm going to make port B equal 0 B 1 8 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 good enough now let's compile and or build our project as you can see there is no red message so everything is fine here and once you click the build uh, button there is a hex file generated in your uh, folder you saved your project it's called uh, blinking led dot hex this is the hex file you're going to upload it into your microcontroller to get things working so uh, almost phase one is finished let's move to phase two phase two is going to be using some really cool tool called picket 2 the picket 2 has two terminals the, the, the first terminal will be connected as a USB port into your laptop or, or into your PC and the second terminal will be connected into your big microcontroller or PIC 16F 84A okay how am I going to connect it as you can see here there is a an arrow here it will it's it's targeting or um, for the first one so what does that mean okay here so this arrow represents number one okay number one which is VPP so here's the connection you want to do connect one with four I mean VPP with VPP and VDD with VDD and three with five and four with thirteen and five with twelve okay and this connection is really useful and this connection is the same for all these um, big microcontrollers big microcontrollers families and this is the other connection for other families so now we are targeting this one so that's our connection okay so after connecting it's going to be similar to this and make sure to put your crystal oscillator crystal oscillator as I said it has to end something like that and put each end in one uh, one of these pins for example here put this one for example here and the other one here here if you vice versa it's okay no problem and as you can see here the crystal oscillator has 16 point zero 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 this is 16 megahertz for example or it's written like that okay so let's move on to the practical part now let's move on to the practical part here I connected the crystal oscillator between pin 15 and pin 16 and I connected the VPP with pin 4 and VDD with uh, v, v, uh, SS with pin 5 and so on according to 
this diagram here, the VPP with VPP, VDD with VDD, and so on. Now, you need a program called Picky2 Programmer. It's, you can get it online from the microchip. And if you connect the, if you connect this thing right, if you connect it according to this diagram correctly, you will find that this message will be displayed. Pick it to found and connect it and pick device found. And it will mention your pick microcontroller name. Now what you, gonna, what you want to do is turn it on. And as you can see here, there is a target one is the, the orange uh, LED is on, which means that the pick, pick it to is powering your microcontroller. And that's really important during the writing part. Okay, let's go. Let's move on to the next step. After return, after return it on, go to file and import hex, and get to your place where you saved it. Project one, blinking lid. Now, click right, and it's finished. Now disconnect. Turn it on. As you can see, I removed the picket too and connected the regulator 7805 and the job is done. The LED is blinking. So that's it for this video tutorial and if you like my videos, just hit the subscribe button. This will push me to upload such videos later on. So see you soon. Bye.